So gaming is employing from the inside out. What I'm about to show you is based on a true story. And, and I guess it's safe to say that most of you after watching this video would be face palming pretty hard. So it's highly advised that you put your hands behind your back. And you know what? Before you do that, like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders, guys. But don't you want to game with pride? Because according to Activision, there is power in pride. But before I get into this one, guys, I also want to talk about this because the entire gaming industry is talking about this situation, okay? This is the ultimate getting woke and going broke. Like, literally, first of all, Don DeMarco, real quick. Because, uh, and I don't want to say this game name because the last time I said YouTube thought that I was talking about, you know, being sent to YouTube heaven or, or, or uh, to heaven prematurely, something like that. Yeah, so the video got hit by YouTube apparently. So not, not gonna say the game's name, but apparently this game left a $200 million hole in Warner Bros. video game division. Now, I know a chap like you is probably confused. You're like, hey, what the hell are you talking about? Can I get an easy translation? And yes, a brother like you, a chap like you, can get a translation. Essentially put that this game from Warner Bros. was the only game, and it's the only game that they made in the last eight years, right? And apparently they spent $200 million to make this game. And it turned out to be ultimate crap. And people are not playing it. And apparently uh, there are only 200 people currently playing this game. Bruh. And ultimately they're losing 200 million, <laughs> 200 million dollars. And apparently Bloomberg is reporting that they might shut down, shut down that studio. Oh, shit. Yeah, they might shut down that studio. Now check this out, right? So this is something that we covered um, a few times, right? And apparently Dr. Disrespect came out. I I'm going somewhere with this one, all right? We, we covered this one, but get ready for the plot twist. And uh, more so than that, get ready for the climax. I got a video that I want to show you. So just the other day, we, we covered the fact that Dr. Disrespect said leave the kids alone is considered to be problematic by Activision. He said that a month ago, and he said that like three months ago, uh, six months ago, a year ago. So yeah, right? Like this it has been an ongoing situation ever since Nick Merck said leave the kids alone because Activision literally took this as problematic, right? They took this one of the worst thing imaginable on planet Earth. Like, what do you mean leave the kids alone, right? Activision said no, we cannot leave the kids alone. So they therefore they removed Nick Merck's skin and we all know what happened with it now fast forward to now check this right so they have added the stunning and brave uh ammo i mean not kidding you bro like the amount of detail that they have put into this one insane i never saw them putting this much detail into making something for free and this is free as well ladies and gentlemen this is free <laughs> right so they ended up having trans bullets which is kind of cute right i'm not gonna lie kind of cute kind of cute but then people have quickly found out that this is linked with this yeah so apparently america if you're in america you know that there is like a real tragedy like i'm not even gonna try to meme this one there's a real problem with the schools and uh, you know i uh, cannot say that word together because we're on youtube right apparently so there's a real problem with this one going on and more often than not whenever something like that happens the person that does the they identify themselves as this now i'm gonna retry to, i'm gonna be objective here not everybody that identifies as part of this group is gonna be doing this okay let's be objective here like you, you know what i mean but people are finding activision to be real hypocritical with this one because they saw massive problems when nick Merck said leave the kids alone but apparently they don't see any problem with this one right like they, they got like uh, stunning and brave bullets but then you know there are school situation happening with stunning and brave people so yeah so that's where a lot of people are at but what if i tell you but wait there is more and that's where we're getting right into it yay put your seat belts on guys roll it in here and this is activision game with pride power in pride internal memo and it's been confirmed as real uh, this is really <laughs> ridiculous at this point team Games are a powerful medium for expressing identity and fostering connection as they allow us to tell diverse stories and create inclusive spaces where everyone sees themselves reflected. I really just wanted to, like, uh, uh, you know, yeah. shoot some aliens in Halo and be left alone, personally. <laughs> That's all I wanted out of games. Gosh. Uh, as we celebrate LGBTQ plus community during Pride in the USA, yeah. this June, our theme Power yeah. in Pride, we're reminded <laughs> of the strength and unity that comes from embracing our- Power in Pride, ladies and gentlemen, I 
am strong. I am independent. Standing, 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 standing. Break, 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 break. Man, listen, man. Sticking your pee pee in poo poo. That's like okay. That, that's uh, apparently they're saying that's power and pride. Okay, whatever. Right. Like the video if you think that's also power. Uh, okay, no. Wow, 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 wow. But like the video, like the video, uh, or or dislike the video if you think there are more than five thousand genders. Our true selves, supporting one another and telling stories in everything we do. Brave. This is mental illness on display right here. Uh, brave. Whoever wrote this is just a, a really. Nah, bro. This is brave. This is this is apparently brave. A sick individual. Seeing yourself in what you do can make all the difference in how you show up. With representation being a key pillar of our inclusive game design efforts, we've even more compelled to ensure all forms of different identities and lived experiences are showcased in our games authentically. Have you noticed how, like, the, the only thing they want to showcase is, like, black disabled lesbians in everything? Yeah. It's yeah, never like, okay, as a brown man, where is my representation, bro? Like, what a brown chap got... <laughs> Wait, okay, uh, what a brown man! Yes, a brown man! What a brown man like me gotta do to get its representation! What I gotta do to get my representation? Where is my representation at? As a brown man, I demand representation for all the people that are watching this video. I demand representations for all my chaps, all my beautiful bastards, all my stunning and brave, stunning and brave, strong and independent. You know, men are always wrong. Also, I'm sure like at least there's one lady watching this video that, that believes in that men are wrong. I'm gonna fight for you, okay? I'm gonna fight for you. I'm gonna try to be offended on your behalf. What, well, how about Bruh. that, okay? Because these sick is always tried to play the victim card and they always are like, okay, you know what? Some happened to you i'm gonna be trying to i'm gonna try to be offended on your behalf even though you're not offended but i'm gonna still try to be offended on your behalf how does that work i don't even know okay but still like i'm gonna try and fight for you like the video i mean raise your hands okay don't have to like the video raise your hands if you need your representation of course like we're joking around like come on dog like i i think we're way past we're way more mature than uh, asking for rep you know R brad like what the hell is going on i do yeah i do believe in diversity diversity is strong but forced diversity is not <laughs> strong at all bro what we're seeing in the situation here is that for the sake of diversity you're ruining your games okay you're forcing diversity which means you're excluding purposely another group altogether because what you're doing with forced diversity i guess what you're trying to do is like include everybody but you're excluding majority of the people while fake trying to include everybody you feel what i'm saying this is not the way to do it this is not the way to do it see like i'm a brown man I didn't even get any representation so you see like you're excluding me you're being racist towards me Bruh. you are being racist yeah i'm gonna play that card too as a brown man i'm sick and tired of being uh sick and tired i guess but but now i'm like really really tired see you guys are being racist towards me diverse it's actually all the same thing over and over again uh, it's ridiculous. Uh, I feel excluded. I feel like a minority, even though I'm a minor minority. Like, duh. Like, let, let's be real. I'm. A, I am, guys. I. <laughs> okay, I'm not even joking. I am. But right now, I feel. I'm really feeling like a minority. Where is my representation at? I wanna also feel the real power in pride. And if you're, uh, if you, if you are a uh, white straight male Christian, well, you're yeah. out of luck. We don't represent oh, you. Yeah. yeah, we got to exclude you in the oh, name yeah, of yeah. inclusivity. Oh, you're bad. According to Activision, you're like a terrible human being. You can go pound sand, go kick rocks. What? How dare you being white, huh? How dare you being a Christian, huh? Like that's what Activision is saying right now, bro. Like crazy crazy and you guys gotta remember this is happening on united states of america baby this is happening on god's green earth and on the dollar dollar bill right you flip it around it says in god we trust okay that's america baby but now they do not believe in god in in god they don't trust apparently that's what they're doing right come on bruh but even though you're the majority <laughs> that's, that's that's how that's how uh, inclusivity works uh, it's all it's all lies in what they say it's always a lie with these people some of the ways we've approached this at Activision through the debut of Activision's first non-binary character, Catbat. Oh no, it's a furry. What? What? <laughs> the first non-binary character is a furry. Bruh. Oh, I can't even get through this. Oh no. <laughs> uh, Catbat is also voiced by a gender fluid actor. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Okay, so what the hell is going on? 
How is this supposed to be stunning and brave? Yo, like, what about honoring the actual veterans that fought for your country? I would like to believe that those were, even though, like, sometimes, you know, war is actually bad. It, yeah, of course it is bad, right? Let's be real. But at least there were some brave men and women as, as well. Brave men and, men and women. Hashtag equality. Hashtag me too as well. Uh, yeah, there. No, seriously, okay, jokes aside this time. You know, I would like to believe that some real soldiers, uh, some real veterans, they were truly brave. And they were they are the reason why some of us are living free. Absolutely. Why not show respect to them? Right? Like it's insane that they get like one day and now this group is getting an entire month. I okay, yeah, give them a day as well. But but like damn, a month? Holy crap. Holy crap. And, and this is stunning and brave. But yeah, the veterans that fought for our countries, uh and fought for our freedom, yeah, of course. Yeah, they're not stunning brave. They they they're not brave. Yeah, they can all go pound sand. Yeah, who cares about them, right? <laughs> That's, That's it. What That's saying. the whole video. We're done. <laughs> Cat Bat from Crash Team Rumble. Cat Bat is also voiced by a gender fluid actor who uses all pronouns. All pronouns? How do you use all? Pro what the hell? Is it? All. Is this what like schizophrenia has turned into, guys? Like, it, so like I'm assuming like all pronouns. That means like he, him, she, her, they, them, it, ut. Uh, it, it what, what am I saying? Uh, how many pronouns are there? I'm kind of, I'm kind of scratching my head. I'm kind of, oh, I'm literally scratching my head. Uh, yeah, all pronouns. What do you mean by that? How, how, how many pronouns? Any, any English language expert here in my chat? Because English is getting, English is becoming a very complicated language right now. I gotta be real, okay? When they say they and them, uh, how many people you're talking about, right? Because the last time I checked, they mean multiple people, right? So if a person, if one man or one chick is saying they identify themselves as they or, or them, uh, how many people we're talking about? Yeah, English is very, very complicated, guys. Uh, English is the most complicated language on planet Earth, man. Right? Like multiple personalities coming out with a, a different price. Sometimes, uh, sometimes I'm Bob. Sometimes I'm Jane. <laughs> and sometimes I'm in between. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> sometimes I am Susan as well. Oh, this is sick. As you'll hear in our next Press Pause episode airing June 12th, our representation in game sends the message that people from all backgrounds and identities are invited to play. Check okay. out our inclusive game design resources on our DEI. So you're saying a brown man like me can also play the game? Wow, I, I appreciate that. Thank you, Activision. SharePoint site, including IGD overview course, workshops, and authentically representing gender identities, inclusive storytelling, and more. Uh, even more. There's more, my friends. Oh, this is so painful. <laughs> this is really painful. Our Call of Duty team is proud to celebrate Pride Month by offering seven different weapon camo variants. Oh, no. <laughs> Glit gay glitter guns. <laughs> That'll show them. <laughs> Oh, God. Each representing colors of some of the different LGBTQ flags. This is available as a free gift pack for all players on Call of Duty Store. It's free because nobody would actually pay for it. They know they know there's no way anybody would actually pay for this. Oh, oh my gosh. No. Our offices around the world, we have several opportunities for employees to recognize. There was also Pride Bingo. Oh, man. Okay, what, what's a Pride Bingo? So they're saying we're thrilled to be bringing back Pride Bingo again this year. Oh, again this year? Oh, shit. They, uh, there was one? There was one last year, hello? I didn't know there was me! I missed out on Pride Bingo, come on, guys! Why didn't you tell me there was Pride Bingo? Why didn't you play some Pride Bingo? Uh, so they're thrilled, okay, they're always thrilled uh, about bringing back Pride Bingo, okay, again this year on June 26th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay, I'm gonna stay asleep that time. I I'm usually sleeping, so I'll make sure that I stay a little bit... Uh, Maybe sleep a little bit more. You, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll do an overnight that day, okay? And I'll sleep a little bit extra that Bruh. day. Uh, stay tuned for a calendar invite with more. Oh, there's going to be a calendar invite. So it's like an invite only session. Okay, I'm a brown man. So I'm probably not going to get an inv invitation. Yeah, okay. Uh, pr probably because like I don't uh, hit their checklist or I don't match their checklist that they're going after. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what it is. So I think I don't need to sleep extra that day because they're, they're not going to invite me, right? They're not gonna invite me okay okay fair recognize and celebrate pride when are they gonna be like working on video games during all this pride celebrating or what is are they gonna have like gay orgies in the office is that is that is that like what's gonna happen here press pause our next press pause episode will feature a conversation with members of our lgbtq plus community here at activision join the broadcast here isabel ovales associate gameplay engineer ash poprick these are fake names like usual they're always fake names you can tell they're fake names every time 
Writer at yeah. iMoon Studios share how their identities have shaped their lives and careers. Oh, please clap. Please clap, everybody. Pride, pride bingo. Oh, no. Pride bingo. Oh, God. <laughs> Every time I think this this can't get worse <laughs> and, and stupider. Uh, we're thrilled to be bringing back Pride Bingo again this year on June 26th. Oh, I, mark your calendar, chat. <laughs> Stay tuned for a calendar invite with more information in the coming weeks. And okay, I guess this, this is, is only insane, for Activision bro. employees. Yeah, mandatory Pride Bingo. Uh, instead, of, instead of working on video games that you're going to like and things that will sell. Also, this is for the, for the devs only? No, bro. Say you swear to God. Damn, man, Yasuk is really gonna exclude everybody? What the hell? You really excluding everybody? I thought that this month was about like being inclusive and you know bringing everybody from like all walks of life together. Like, what the hell? So you're only gonna do it for your own staff, and that means like no gamers allowed? What the hell? No, and also you're not gonna uh, allow the LGTV crowd to play your Pride Bingo as well, bro. Like that. I thought you guys were all about diversity and inclusivity. Where is inclusivity and diversity in this one, bro? You're only including your devs and excluding everybody else? Nah, man. Like, okay, bro. Like, nah, bro. Like, this is bad, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, include everybody too, man. What a brown man gotta do. What a chap gotta do. What a brother gotta do. What a man gotta do. What a... What what uh, anybody gotta do, right? What everybody gotta do, I should say. Like, yeah, include everybody, bro. Like, what the hell? Like... You excluding all of us, right? Like that, especially in a Pride Month, man. I was not expecting that, bro. All the uh, No pun intended, but no pun intended. But this was not on my bingo card, ladies and gentlemen. They're going to be playing Pride Bingo at the offices, local celebrations. Many of our Activision colleagues will be participating in the Pride Pride community events in their local areas. Okay. This is where I think it was uh, probably a gay orgy or maybe a, a drag show yeah. for kids. Uh, that you know, maybe both at the same time. Uh, really inclusive. <laughs> and there it is. We encourage anyone to take advantage of these resources uh, to deepen your understanding and support of the LGBTQ plus community. Well, there you are. Glitter rainbow guns, my friends. That's how we're going to win the war on whatever. What, what are they even trying to accomplish at this point? Man, uh, just uh, make themselves into complete jokes because that's what's been happening here. Uh, so this is the video game industry. La guys, check out this video on the screen. Okay. This is part one. I don't know if you saw this or not, but I'm telling you, if you have not seen it, then don't watch it, because this video is not for you. <laughs> yeah, skip on this video, but check out the video on the left, alright? Let's see which one you're gonna check out. I'm assuming that you're gonna check out the video that I told you to skip. Let's see.